Matthew is also known as Levi. Prior to his conversion, he was a tax collector. Jesus, after this, he went and saw a tax collector called Levi sitting in the office and said, follow me. So he left all, rose up and followed him. So his name onward actually was known as Matthew. As much as at the conversion he is called Levi, we don't have an incident where Jesus addressed or even the people who are giving the names of the disciples calling him uh, Levi. No, they were calling him Matthew. Could be because of who tax collectors were perceived to be in those days. They were working for the Roman Empire. These people had persecuted Israel. You know, even the case of Zacchaeus, who was also a tax collector. When Jesus encountered him, he said, I'm going to return what I had stolen. Because they had that reputation of helping themselves from these things that they were collecting from the people. So if it comes to looking for people who would carry the kingdom of God, I assure you, Levi was not one of them. He was one of the people who was an enemy to the kingdom of Israel being restored. And Jesus is coming to restore the kingdom. But I tell you, if the race is not to the swift, yes, the battle is not the strong. Time and chance happen to them all. And Levi is a clear indication. So the name Matthew means Yahweh's gift. Yeah. So it means maybe it was the conversion of a person who was taken from the darkness into marvelous light. And we have an illustration. Actually, when he was converted, it was when Jesus said one of his mission here on earth. He did not come for the well, but for those who are the sick because he had invited him and the people were sitting at, at the table were tax collectors. They were this, they were people who were not, you know, by the society standard, were not deserving to have a teacher, a rabbi in Israel. And it is this that Jesus was able to communicate to Pharisees and the Sadducees, the people who are trying to challenge, you know, him coming down to the people. And with this, Matthew teaches us that even the worst of the sinner can become Yahweh's gift, can become Matthew, can become people who can be entrusted to run the kingdom. Actually, it's him who documents uh, one of those incidents. He talks so much about the kingdom. If you read what we call the beatitude, if you read the parables that he gives, he, he, he lays down a very solid foundation on the kingdom. It means that a person who was not for the kingdom became as so much, you know, core, core person in building this kingdom by parables, by, you know, by his writing, what we know as the gospel of Matthew. It is said that Matthew preached in modern day Syria and Ethiopia before being martyred there.